Hi guys, welcome to Helix VR and we've got another new release show this week and we've got some fantastic games coming up including a real super duper game of the week. So let's jump straight in and see what we've got. First off, we've got a game called Dash Dash Run. Now sometimes the devs do a really good job and then they get the pricing wrong and this is one of those games. The game is fun, fast and you will have the audience laughing and you're sweating. If you suffer from motion sickness, this might trigger it off. But swinging your arms and pumping um, then propels you along the track at a real high speed trying to beat your opponents which are other avatars in a race it is a really really fun game itself but it's different and the problem is the price is too high so devs if you're watching this drop the price down a little bit um, if you like the looks of the game we say add it to your wish list and wait for sale or hopefully the devs will drop the price it is available for the Vive go out and get it or put it on the wish list Okay, next up, guys, is Archangel. And this game, you can stay seated in your seat. Have you ever dreamed of becoming a giant robot? Well, this highly polished game will go some way to fulfilling your dreams. Climb, in, climb inside a mech suit and become that robot. This is an on-the-rail shooter game, and it has a really decent storyline and detailed graphics. The cockpit in the mech suit is so well done. The details are fantastic. Three letters sum up this game for me. A, A. And lastly, A. Available for the Rift and the Vive, it's well worth the money. Okay, game of the week time, fanfare please. Well, that's better than last week's fanfare, and at least I've not got an aeroplane landing on my head. So, game of the week is Steam Hammer. It's just come out of early access and has a whopping 11 missions. If you've seen some of our live streams, you will see that I played this a couple of times and I've always had good fun in it. From destroying clockwork rats and beef eaters to little barrel clockwork Conor McGregor's fighting me with it in the bar with their little Irish accents and their ginger beards. Okay, one of the features that this game has got is voice command as well. So you can choose your weapons by just selecting them with your voice. I think that's fantastic. The whole steampunk vibe of this game is really, really expertly implemented. Now, I'm not sure if it's just me or whether it's a feature of the game, but when my words get a little bit too rude and blue, the narrator does come on and tell me off for it. It's just like having Big Mama watching over me saying, don't say naughty things. So, as I say, it might just be perfect timing with the game or it could be part of it. I don't know. Anyway, this is a must buy and I do hope the devs go on to make some really more cool games like this, especially with the steampunk um, genre. Okay, guys, that's all for this week. Don't forget to check out our giveaway, which is up there somewhere. And we will be picking a winner on Sunday. All you need to do is pick a card. Simple as that. Okay, if you like what we do, please support us, show us some love, like us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tweet us on Twitter. That's all for now. Have a good one.